What's up guys, I'm Chad and this is the 2022 Street Glide CVO. The CVO is the pinnacle of luxury and performance. It's the top of the line. It's got every bell and whistle that Harley Davidson offers from the factory, from upgraded speakers, engine, to literally every detail. Coming up, I'm gonna talk about why this motorcycle is so great. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to test ride it because the weather sucks outside and CVO guys don't like miles being put on their machines. So stay tuned. So like I said, Harley has spared no detail on this motorcycle. They've thought of literally everything from the new Alcantara seats that they're doing on the 2022 models. All CVOs have Alcantara either lining, they all have different designs, but the Street Glide CVO, it's like a little line that goes around the outside and that's Alcantara. Um, you've got the upgraded boom audio system, which I believe is 400 watts. It's 100 watts per channel. Um, painted inner fairing. This is the blue steel finish, which is one of my favorite colors for this year because it looks black unless you put light on it. Like right now I have the lights positioned perfectly to where you can see a little bit of that blue metal flake. And then I'll cut to a different clip to where you can actually see the metal flake in better detail. Um, it does not have stretch bags like the other two CVO models. The blue steel only comes with the standard bags. Not really sure why they did that. The 117 motor, there's actually a different kind of metal flake in the motor. Like it's a different material or it has like a different finish on it. Whereas a special or a standard would be just a black finish. This has a little bit of a, a metal flake in it. It's raining like crazy outside right now. It has the adaptive LED headlight. You've got your upgraded CVO gauge cluster. It comes with the heated Kahuna collection for the grips. You've got Kahuna collection floorboards, brake pedal, uh, fa passenger pegs, um, shifters front and rear, chopped engine guards. It has different wheels that you can only get on a CBO Street Glide. Um, your windshield is a different style from the Street Glide Special, the Street Glide Standard. It's got the CBO rear end on the back here, so it fills in those gaps really well. This finish on the engine is called charred chrome. So it's a little bit different than black chrome. It almost has like a gold kind of look to it. Whereas the black chrome was literally just black chrome. Um, other CVO colors, the orange and the yellow come in chrome. This one is actually called charred chrome. You've got the red head separator up top. The center console is specific only to the CVO and it actually lights up as well. The badge in the tank is only something that you can get on a CVO. Charred chrome uh, front forks or charred chrome lowers on the forks. You've got charred chrome on the offset of the wheels actually as well. Another one of my favorite things about the CVO is the key fobs. So these are specific only to the CVO and you can actually lock and unlock your bags from the key fob. So if you're in, your, uh, in a restaurant grabbing some food or in a convenience store and you forget to lock your bike, sketchy area, whatever it is, lock them up from inside the store. So let's take a second to talk about the engine. Um, it's not a slouch by any means. I just wish they would have put something bigger in it because they put the 117 motor in the Lowrider S, Lowrider ST, Street Glide ST, and Road Glide ST. So it's not that different anymore. Whereas before, the only bike you can get the 117 in from the factory was the CVO. So I, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't go with a bigger motor, but this motor makes plenty of power. I want to say it makes 126 foot-pounds of torque, whereas the 114 only makes 118. So it's a pretty big difference right there. I'm happy with it overall. Just maybe next year we can get a 121 or something like that. So something else that's different that's actually pretty cool is the adaptive headlight. So when you lean to the left, the headlight will light these extra lights up over here and it'll illuminate the left side of the road. Same thing for the right side. You lean to the right, it lights up the right. Pretty cool, I plan on putting one of these in my motorcycle because it's actually useful. So as far as the stereo goes, the Street Glide is top notch. It has a 400 watt stereo, so Rockford Fosgate and Harley Davidson paired up together to make the stereo. Last year, 2021, was the first year they did this. Um, this stereo sounds amazing. The 2019 models came with, it was Harley Davidson and it was called Boom Audio 
Charlie Davidson and Harmon Carden, I think, is who paired up to make that setup. And uh, it didn't sound nearly as good as this, and it was 900 watts. I love this setup. The clarity, um, how loud it gets, you can hear it loud and clear cruising 75, 80 miles an hour. Um, anything after that, it starts to kind of dilute, I guess. Maybe, probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. It, you can't hear it as well, okay? I'm no, I'm no wordologist, okay? I talk about motorcycles. Anyways, um, loud and clear, if you're the type of guy that likes to cruise through your neighborhood with the music blaring so everyone can see you, this is the bike to get. This is like a Peacock motorcycle. This is like the Peacock audio. Peacock. Oh. So the rear end is, this is the CVO rear end. So it's got these filler lights right here and it comes down a little bit lower. You don't have the lights right here, whereas the specials and the standards do. One thing that I wish they did with this color in particular is put the stretch bags. I really do not know why Harley is putting the short bags on these CVOs because nobody wheelies a CVO. You're not buying a CVO to do wheelies or like ride aggressively. Like you're, you're buying it to like look good. Oh. So when you're sitting on the Street Glide CVO, you know you're sitting on a Street Glide CVO because it says it right here. And you also get special gauges and a painted inner fairing that matches this blue steel color. And you also get the heated grips, which I really am not a fan of. I prefer hand guards. Hand guards are better than heated grips in my opinion. Leave a comment down below if you disagree. Um, these badass Rockford Fosgate speakers with the Harley Davidson logo right here, it, it all screams CVO. So in conclusion, I think the Street Glide CVO is a great motorcycle overall. Harley's thought of everything from the finish on the paint down to the wheels, the engine, and the charred chrome that goes throughout this entire motorcycle. It's a great motorcycle. So that about wraps this video up. Please like and subscribe, um, comment, let me know what you guys thought about it, what you liked, what you didn't like, and as always, stay tuned for the next video.